So we move along to the adjustment presets. And if we look at the menu here, we've got the standard, which is the one that I use, but we've got a number of different presets. And you can also create your own presets and looks, as I said, so when you import your files, they come in at a given preset that you choose. And you'll also notice that um, there are a number of extra ones here because I've made adjustments and modifications to some of those images. And as I adjust an image, um, what Focus has done is um, basically created, if you like, a temporary preset of my current adjustments. If we move further along, we have reload, use the, la the last saved adjustment, or actually save um, the current uh, adjustments as well. Further along the top here, we have the EXIF data showing the shutter speed used, the aperture, the camera lens, the um, ISO, etc. just at the top of the window. The file name, our star rating here, and again, the color coding for the images. The percentage zoom that we're in on the main window. Um, so I can obviously choose to zoom in by clicking plus here. And then I can pan around the image using the space bar, which is the hand tool down here, or space bar is the shortcut. So I can look at this in much more detail. We're just at 50% there, so I can go right into 100%. Uh, we can see all the fine detail that we've got in the image there. Uh, incidentally, also if we use the magnifier tool when we click in an image, that takes us into 100%. So I'm just going to zoom back out on there, 14%, that fits the image in there. And the image will obviously adjust in size to suit as I change the interface. 